Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Tubules Live. Today, we're very privileged to have David Claridge with us. David is a UK CAD CAM specialist at CareStream Dental. He began his career at a dental technician in, in Newbury, he, and then he later started Claridge Dental Laboratory and then Claridge Mouth Guards. Claridge, uh, David Claridge has been very closely involved in the digital impressioning and the CAD CAM world through his role in the digital dentistry team at 3M and then later joining CareStream Dental. Today's topic is about making a move onto digital impressions. So without any further delay, I'd like to hand over the floor to David. Thank you very much. Good evening. Yes, so uh, I'm David Claridge and as you know, I am a dental technician. I am... Um, Yes, started life out at the Briars Dental Centre in Newbury uh, in 1983. Um, so 30 odd years I've been in this profession. I think I'm a lifer now. Um, this will be the profession for me and I am passionate about digital impressioning. I think that comes from my 30 years as a dental technician. I also think that comes from seeing about 50,000 impressions in my time and working with those models. So. I have a personal issue with uh, traditional impressions and gypsum expansion rates, which I will go into tonight. And that comes from my um, experience. But also as a patient, I don't like impressions. You know, I'm, I'm a, well, without giving too much away, I fight with my toothbrush every night. So I have a gag reflex. I do not like traditional impressions. So I am very pleased to be working in a profession where it's now moving to digital impressions. So what I want to tell you, hopefully the aims and objectives of the next 50 minutes hour would be that you get a, a skim over the fact that digital impressions are here, they're here to stay, and change is inevitable, and it's just when you get on board and with which system. Okay, so topics for discussion, just as a, a preview of where we're going. The Stone Age, as I call it, the gypsum age, um, versus the digital age, stages of deviation. Um, all those stages and all those steps involved in making your crowns and your bridges. Uh, diastone expansion rates, consider your patient in all of this. Uh, and then I've put here a few words, you can see dentist, nurse, technician, they are actually videos. So what we've done is we've gone out to a dental laboratory that worked purely from digital impressions now, and a dentist that's using a digital impressioning system and his nurse. And then I've got a Gordon Christensen report that came out in the last couple of days, which is a very balanced view of the top five digital impressionist systems in the, on the planet. And then which one? Which one do you go for? I'm not going to predict or tell you which one to go for. I'm just going to give you a balanced view and some checkpoints that I think, yeah, some questions you should ask when you're considering which system is right for your practice. And then we will have a Q&A. Those uh, sections will be split into two halves, so you've got time to, you know, disappear off for a cup of tea and come back. So uh, a little bit about the market. So where is the growth? The growth, if you see on the right-hand uh, section of this uh, graph, you will see the growth is in, in intraoral scanners, digital impression in scanners. That outstrips complete chair size systems, although these two put together are growing at a far greater rate than laboratory scanners and complete lab systems. That's because the labs, on the whole, are waiting for you to turn digital. The missing link is the digital impression. The labs have embraced the technology. They, a lot of them work, the Crown and Bridge labs work in a digital workflow, and their digital workflow starts at scanning a gypsum model, but it doesn't start at scanning your patient. So here we go. So what are the factors impacting the dental CAD CAM market by region? So just that top line, I think, is most interesting, is that the demand, so clinicians tell us, that there is a demand for accurate and rapid restorations. In our marketing at work, we say that patients aren't patient. So, and the Serona and the Seric workflow will tell you that patients do like to have a crown fitted in and turned around in an hour. Uh, second there, preference for ceramic dental restorations. We'll touch on this later in the presentation as well. You know, the bonded crown, it, it, are their days over? No, but I, I personally consider they're numbered. So we'll touch on that later in the, in the evening. 
So stages, now for where I am, now I'm going to try and talk to you as a dental technician, but I am employed by CareStream, so sometimes I will veer into CareStream products, but I'm trying to keep as neutral as I can. Um, now, we do have two workflows here. We have a digital camera, which is out of shot now. You, hopefully you can see that. So that's our digital impression camera. That can go in two directions. That can go in, as this um, slide shows, three steps. You take a digital impression, you as a clinician will um, design your restoration and then you will mill your restoration in a chairside mill machine. Okay. The second workflow, the second option, if you do not want to go chairside mill, you can get on board just with the camera and then you can send that to a design, uh, to, well you can send it to any laboratory. And again, we'll touch on that, what I mean by any dental laboratory, any Crown and Bridge laboratory. And they will take care of the manufacturing and designing. So actually, if you think, what we're doing with this workflow is we're taking a digital impression. So we're taking an impression. We're sending that to a lab. Lab are making things, and you will fit it. So we're not asking you as clinicians to change your workflow to suit the hardware. You know, we'll make the hardware work around you. So the Stone Age workflow, okay, what does it kind of look like? So I've sort of, it's a jot, I may have missed things out. It may be even more convoluted than I've put on there. So in the, the gypsum world, or the Stone Age as I call it, um, what do you do? Now uh, you select your impression trays. You start, whether it's hand mix or pentamix, um, and then you use your putty and your wash system, you take an impression. Uh, you then have to disinfect the impression. You then have to bag it up with your lab ticket. Now your lab may be a, it may be a postal service or they may offer a collection service. So the lab collect and take the work off. Now that lab will then have to cast your impression and then they review it. And that's the first.